talk a bit about the lead section on IDX add-ons. Over here, you're able to see the people that have signed up on your website. I'm logged into a client's account. And these are the same leads that would be showing up in the leads and manage section on IDX broker. Over on IDX add-ons, you're able to call them if they have their phone number registered, see their website traffic and the notes for this lead. You can see if they're verified or blacklisted. In this case, this lead is blacklisted because it's a fake email. You're able to export them as an Excel file or a CSV file, refresh the results in case there are new leads, and you can see which safe searches and safe properties these leads have, if they have any. And let's click on the saved searches for this lead so that you can see an example. So if you click on save searches, as we did before, we can see which searches they've saved and it gives you a link for you to see these properties. In this case, these are the properties this lead saved. You're able to see their IDX traffic. In this case, they don't have any recent traffic. Their saved searches, their saved properties, which they don't have, and their IDX notes, which includes um, some notes that are created automatically or notes that you create for the lead. In this case, we have the sign up for the lead, um, and their name, their last name, their email, and if they had an address or phone number, it would also be showing up here. We also see the date when this lead signed up. Let's try this lead so that we can see if they have IDX traffic and this person does, so we can see the pages that this lead has visited. This way you can see which pages are more popular on your website and which pages you might need to improve your traffic on. This only includes IDX broker pages because these are IDX leads. If you wanna create a search for this lead, you're also able to do so here. You go to save searches or saved properties. In this case, let's go to save searches and we can create a basic search for the lead. So we're going to call this test. You can call this whatever you want. And let's say we want to assign some type of properties to this lead so that they get updates on that. So let's make that residential homes. Let's select a city. I'm going to be selecting something at random and add in a maximum price of 1 million as an example, three bedrooms, two baths. Um, you can decide if you want the property to have an image, virtual tour, open house, et cetera. How many results? Let's say 10. And we want them sorted by least expensive to most. Create safe search. You can create another one. Or you can go back to the leads. We refresh the results and we see that this lead, Erin, has a new saved search. And it's the one we just created in July. In this case, since we added very specific criteria, we have one featured result and then the rest of the search results. If we update this page as well, we will see another safe search showing up for Erin. Here we see the test one. I'm going to be deleting this one just because we made this as a test. Um, you would delete that over here. There it is. You also have the option of updating leads. So you can update their first, last name, email, um, password, phone number, all of the fields you see over here. And everything is updated on IDX Broker as well. You're also able to delete leads if you'd like. We created the lead section on IDX add-ons to try to make IDX add-ons a more complete platform where you can get access to the apps, templates, and be able to modify leads all in one same place. Of course, there are things that you still need to go on to IDX Broker for, but we have a shortcut that would be interesting for you to check out. If you want to get access to Realty Candy and all of the features that we have available, go to realtycandy.com slash free and click on any of these mail providers. And what it will do is it will open up an email prompt for you to send over to IDX Brokers so that they switch you to Realty Candy and get access to everything you see.